My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how do you do? Jim, Tim, lot of cold across the whole United States this week. We'll talk about that in our normal weather segment. Cold, cold. We'll get into that later. The sports. Jim, we usually start with baseball because there's been a lot of baseball. In Shota Imanaga, 3, 2, 1, 7. 6.2. Yeah. You know what's fun, Jim? Winning over a fan base. I don't have any other in my recent memory to compare it to. None. So it's easy for me to say this is number one. As opening press conferences go. Hey, Chicago. As far as pandering to an audience and me eating it up, even though I'm not a Cubs fan. What do you say? Like one by one, line by line, slowly singing the win song. Cubs gonna win today. Is really good. And I don't know if anyone's remixed it yet, but that will happen by like a Chicago DJ Mm. and like like put it over the the song and those are the lyrics. Cubs gonna win today. 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 And you think the Cubs are going to the spring training spring facility, training facility yes. in Arizona? Get loose, warm up. What were you telling me about this? Almost a breakdown with your girl Lily Pons. Lily Pons <laughs> is that how you would pronounce it? Lele, Lele. We knew. You think that's her birth name? Ax the expert. No. Ax the one that watches. <laughs> Gun to your head. Do you think that's her birth name? No. Okay. I agree. Oh, almost a breakdown. But this is kind of real breakdown, Jake. I did, we did a lot of investigative yeah. work and uh, happy to let you know that we are myth busting. Right. Fake Lele Ponce posing on the beach in front of a bunch of seagulls. I did this with uh, my siblings once in Australia. We were posing and my dad threw food to them and they flew over her head. What a crazy c- picture. And then the seagull flies by and pulls her bikini top mm. and loosens it. Unties the string perfectly. She catches it just in time. What a video. We're famous. You part of the we there? Holistically. Right. The bird's flying behind her. Okay. There's the bird. And there's the bird's beak. Right. And it's got nothing attached to it. Now, the next frame, the flap's down. Right. And the string is behind in between her and the bird. Right. And now the flap's going up. Looks like real loose flap on the bird, but that could be the bird's problem. Now the string's perfectly in the bird's mouth. Right. String is taut in the mouth. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. There's some tension. There's some tension. And all of a sudden the string is going to be behind the bird's like Mm. neck. See? Not in the bird's mouth at all. Right. Editor didn't go frame by frame. Now it's way behind the bird. And then- Back in it's going to make its back way into the mouth. So it's debunked. It's fake. Without that eye test, didn't pass the first time because um, this doesn't really happen. Our first alleged rumor was, was there seagull bait on her bathing suit? See the bird's feet? Which seagull bait still yet to really happen. I don't know. To have this just happen and then recover to properly cover the breasticles in time, I just don't. It seemed like a farce, and now I think it's a farce farce. And to one further note, you can see that they they digitally punch in afterwards. There's this little brim of a hat right here. Starts creeping in the frame. Then they punch in to get him out of frame. I think that dude was pulling the string. They waited for a bird to fly by, pulled a string. We'll remake this ourselves. So yeah, go home, rewatch this a bajillion times. Focus on the bird. Tune into next week's Weekly Dumb to watch us recorrect it. What was that? Spotted. Enough birds. Let's go back to the sports. The playoffs are going on NFL, and there's some storylines. It was cold. I told you we'd talk about that. We saw everything freeze. The Cowboys become a laughing stock again, and I'm actually going to defend them for a second, even though they just lost. And Chris Rose, I think he was watching that Lily Pons video. I mean, is it possible that they could ride the deep? I have something to say about the Cowboys and Jerry Jones. Yes. I'm kind of about it. They had like a winning record. They've gone to the playoffs three of the last four years. Yeah. Jerry Jones like actually runs the team. Okay. He's just a guy that runs the team he owns. And they have winning records. That could be us. Like, he's an argument for the common man that you could run a team decently. Haven't won a playoff game in a long time. Like Mark Cuban, Al Davis. He drafts players, dude. He does the whole thing. He's the GM. Mm. Know how ridiculous that is? It's awesome. He's 80 and rich. Why would you buy a team and not be the GM? (laughs) Cause it's because I think for most people, you accept you're bad at something, awful. and he's like doing it, dude. If you're rich enough to buy a sports team, you want to run the yeah. fucking sports team. If you suck at it, your fan base can say, "Oh, dude, sell the team, get out of hey, here." Hey, you're just a rich guy. You're not but good you at running really a team. Fault it. Anyway, good job by Jerry Jones. Chris, I guess. Rose that's what you're saying. Being too horny in three, two, one. I mean, is it possible that they could ride the D? I, I- the defense. Please, please, please. Cold games without snow. I'm out. That was just bad football. Midwest. What are we doing? Build heaters. <laughs> well, <laughs> 
And that's your weather. Whoa. See, he told you he was going to say the weather, Zach. You doubted him. Jim, this is not sports. I mean, this isn't sports. This isn't sports but at it's all. sports. Uh, high school basketball coach, Coach Chevrier, tried to call a timeout from uh, Ref Bob, and he did not accept her timeout. Either he couldn't hear because he's laser focused, or he just was <laughs> like, no, no, you don't want that not right now. You think Ref Bob didn't reward it? <laughs> Because he was super focused. Yeah. He was just un, unaware. He was locked in. Ref Bob has the same condition I have. His hearing aid was No off. hearing. <laughs> yeah. No hearing. That's the only way that can happen. Then she did say that Ref Bob's a great guy. Great Good guy. official. But me trying to call a timeout is always and has been a struggle. I just think he doesn't like timeouts. Ref Bob? Great guy. Yeah. Calls the local games. He's Ref Bob. You think his hair is real? Yes. And that's what hurts him in this case. Because his hair is white, white. And Ref Bob can't hear it. <laughs> yeah. Because he's getting yelled at in his ear. And it's why he hasn't advanced higher levels. Because he's a nice guy. Can't hear. It's the employee of the week. It's an employee who's a free. Are we doing two or one? I think we should do both. They're going to be doing it all, all, all the time. All the time. J names, too. We're a company full of J names. Justin Panic, Jeff DePalma. First week of JM Football live streams. They're going live every playoff day you were on a game i was on a game back and jeff dated in college yeah shared what was it? you shared space you shared space Ro yeah roommate you dated space together they, yeah. they call it sharing space we shared space we shared we shared space jake and i shared space we've shared space yeah temporarily <laughs> see ya <laughs> that was a weekly dumb What percentage of hearing is being a ref? Oh, that's a great question. 12%? I would say 10. Okay. I mean, this might be the only time. I think fouls sometimes, too, because, like, you can hear the skin. Buzzers. Buzzers are huge. He doesn't do buzzers. He tells his partner that first time. You're on buzzers. <laughs> You're on buzzers. <laughs> what? You're on buzzers! <laughs>